Welcome to Mon Science Kids for Christ. Everybody, please clasp your hands and close your eyes. Thank you, God, for waking us up this morning. Thank you for letting us have a blessed day. Thank you for all that you've done for us, and thank you for all that you do for us. Thank you for keeping us safe as we approach Christmas time. And let us please not forget about the reason for the season and that Jesus Christ, our Savior, was born on December 25th and that he will keep us safe as we continue on the school, continue on the year and we venture into a new year of 2022 that we stay safe and there's no more COVID outbreak. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Scripture is taken from Matthew 5, 10. For God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right. For the kingdom of heaven is theirs. 
May God add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. Thank you, Tobiah. Hi, I'm Aunt Natasha, and this week we will conclude our series on the Beatitudes. Can you believe we have spent a whole two months learning the Beatitudes? We have learned so much in our time together. We have learned that the Beatitudes tell us what our attitude should be and what it means to be blessed by God. Now let's see who can remember the seven Beatitudes we have discussed so far. Can you help me count? We're going to need two hands. Let's go. The first beatitude was God blesses those who are poor and realize their need for him, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. The second was God blesses those who mourn, for they will be comforted. The third was God blesses those who are humble, for they will inherit the whole earth. The fourth was God blesses those who hunger and thirst for justice, for they will be satisfied. The fifth was God blesses those who are merciful, for they will be shown mercy. The sixth was God blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. And the seventh beatitude was God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. Very good. Good, you remembered. Our scripture this week is Matthew 5, 10. This scripture tells us that Jesus said, God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. This beatitude lets us know that even if we do right by God and others, live a life that is pleasing, treat our friends and enemies good, listen and obey our parents, that we may still be persecuted. To be persecuted means to be teased, bullied, or treated poorly because of what a person believes. As a young person, you may find yourself being persecuted for praying before you eat your lunch or playing with a new kid at school even though classmates think they're weird. And I want you to know it's okay. It's okay to face persecution when you are doing the right things. That's what Jesus is telling us in this last beatitude. That when we follow him boldly, we get the kingdom of heaven. Will it be hard to live right when others are teasing us? Yes, it will. But we must always remember the ultimate goal in life is not to please man, but to please God. And when we please God, despite being teased or humiliated by others, our reward is being able to be with God in heaven for forever and ever and ever. Now that we've concluded our series, let's read the entire Beatitude passage in Matthew 5, starting at verse 1 and ending at verse 12. One day, as he saw the crowds gathering, Jesus went up to the mountainside and sat down. His disciples gathered around him, and he began to teach them. God blesses those who are poor and realize their need for him, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. God blesses those who mourn, for they will be comforted. God blesses those who are humble, for they will inherit the whole earth. God blesses those who hunger and thirst for injustice, for they will be satisfied. God blesses those who are merciful, for they will be shown mercy. God blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. God blesses you. When people mock you and persecute you and lie about you and say all sorts of evil things against you because you are my followers. Be happy about it. Be very glad for a great reward awaits you in heaven. And remember, the ancient prophets were persecuted in the same way. We are now going to complete 
the Beatitude series wreath. You're going to need your wreath, marker, pen or pencil, stapler, glue or tape, scissors, and your colored paper. Are you ready? Let's go. First, we're going to trace our hand. Take your time. Ask for help if you need it. The scripture is taken from Matthew 5, 10. If God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. May God add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. Now that you cut out your handprint, let's write the scripture on the handprint. The scripture this week is Matthew 5, 10. God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Take your glue or your stapler or your tape and let's add the last beatitude onto our wreath. We have now concluded the series. You have finished your wreath. Very good. Have an incredible week with an incredible God.